afternoon. Um, just a quick update. Um, I've not really had much time to paint this week, so but I did get this through the post, so I thought I'd have a quick review. And I think this should be all good. So there's the counters that comes from that. Pro group look pretty good. Look, uh, good quality. You can see that. It's the counters, the quick reference sheets. Just move this camera. So that's the quick reference sheets here. Group. If you're in a lot of tables, seems to be the way. Um, I saw the first game of this getting played on the Too Fat Lardy's uh, YouTube channel, but I'm not too sure about so many tables in the game. But I found we, um, well, right, so it's press that and Dave Brown. There's normally a lot of tables, but the game normally flows quite well, but we'll wait and see. So this is the old group book. I got the PDF sent through um, just the other day. So I've got it on PDF as well, which is good. It's always good. I always like Too Fat Lardies for doing that. So that's good. So there's the new Victrix. Well, recently new Victrix. 144th scale stuff on the other bit. and at the back I believe yep is the Pendragon advert and that's that's what I've got for World War 2 the 10 mil stuff so and I believe it's the back of the book I believe if I have a quick look here you can use this let's have a look with any figure scale um, so guys, uh, let me have a look. There we go. Yeah. So I'll be using it with 10 mil. I've got 28, but uh, it's basically for skimmer stuff and bow action. This is for, as it says, battalion size actions. So a wee bit more, I would say, than your normal bow action game. Um. Just looking at this one thing and I noticed um, page numbers. Look where the page numbers are. So for quick reference, reading through the book, uh, it's not the best, I would say. The quality is good, but <laughs> positioning the page numbers there, mm -mm, that's a no-no. Um, but the section seems well laid out. Looks really good. So I'll just quickly look through some of the pages. Yeah, so it uses a similar dice system to uh, Chain of Command. So when you... Uh, let me see, where is it here? If you're doing... Uh, battalion group O group commands for orders you can see here like if you roll one dice you get no order if you two three four or five it's a company order and then you've got a six for an HQ order and if you get a triple one you get hesitant so similar idea um, so back to the book you get and Basically, it's the usual run of the mill. You've got your movement, fire, blah blah blah, close combat. Sorry, and, and then at the back, I believe you've got some lists. Uh, British battalion, German, Russian, and I think American, United States. And that's about it. I think I paid 29 quid all in for this with the counters. No. So, 
I don't know why I never will get around to getting a game at the minute with lockdown and that, and when I'll get around to this, but I thought I'd have a quick review of that. And oh, one last look at the counters. Should order markers. And suppressed. So on first impressions, quality is excellent, looks good. Um, but for me, this is not good where the page numbers are. That's a, a bad design fault for me, but it's a minor quibble. Right, that's, for no, that's it for now, guys. Catch you later. Bye.